Morning. Hey, welcome to Business Growth Accelerator. I'm standing on my balcony at present because it really is just a stunning day and I've been spending a bit of time just standing out here drinking coffee, just thinking. And uh, Business Growth Accelerator, it's simple strategies for serious business owners who want some solid results. That's what we're doing this for every morning at uh, 10 past nine. And I thought this morning, I'm gonna talk to you about money, profits, finances, because we ran our, liter our financial literacy workshop yesterday. Although when I say we, actually it was Janelle, and she did a blinking great job on it. She just rocked it. In fact, I was sitting there and I learned a couple of things and afterwards I said to her, where the hell did you learn that? And she said, oh, I've had it in my arsenal for ages. And I said, we've been married for 10 years and you blinking haven't shown, told me that yet, how come? We both laughed about it. And it just goes to show that you, know, you have things that come up and even in a marriage, you learn things from your partner, even though you've been uh, married 10 years. So I wanna to talk to you today about the finances because in the financial literacy workshop yesterday, it was really interesting that people were asking some great questions on just the finances, the three important numbers that you need to know in your business. Because if you don't know your numbers in your business, how do you know what you can invest in, what you can purchase? if it's the right purchase, if you can purchase it or invest in it, if you need it. It's so important to know your numbers. And one of the first things to start with is having a cash flow forecast. Because the worst thing you can do is getting to a day and realizing you've got a whopping great bill the next day and you can't afford it. So a cash flow forecast is a rolling 13 weeks and it's a forecast, it's not set in stone because that's what your, your budget is going to do. But with a forecast, you can forecast what does the next 13 weeks look like? And if you see there's gonna be a blip uh, in the forecast and say week seven, and you think, gee whiz, I've got a whopping great bill there, how on earth can I uh, afford that? You can do something about it now and you've got seven weeks to deal with it as opposed to uh, in seven weeks time realizing I've got a bill tomorrow, how the heck am I gonna pay that? Now, quite often people say to me uh, that they need to be the cheapest. And I'll tell you, you've gotta get away from this thinking, okay? You've gotta get away from cheap because only 14% of the population buy on price. 86% buy on value. So what you need to do is to provide that value proposition. And the reason people ask about uh, cheap or can you take a discount is because you haven't provided the value for your service or your product. When you do, uh, then people will realize, hey, here's the value and they will pay you more. Now to give you an example, if we all bought the cheapest, okay? If I look outside here, I see there's uh, you know minis, there's Jaguar cars outside, there's Range Rovers, um, what else have we got? Uh, there's some uh, BMWs out there. So the thing is, why are all these different cars here? For the simple fact that if people bought cheap, they would probably have bought a Suzuki Celerio, which is the cheapest car on the market. But people don't, all right? Because people buy a vehicle for their purpose. That's why we have SUVs, because people need to put their stuff in the back, the golf clubs or the, uh, the tents. All right, we have sedans because people uh, have a family, for example, they want a sedan for that. We have a sports car because someone wants to cruise on the open top. So the thing is, people don't buy cheap, they buy value. It's up to you to provide value. And the other thing I hear quite often is, money uh, is the root of all evil. Well, that's bollocks, all right? Money isn't the root of all evil because if it was, then the churches wouldn't be collecting so much of it because that saying actually comes from the Bible, believe it or not, the love of money is the root of all evil. And those two words make such a difference. But I tend to think that's wrong as well, because I have a personal belief that it is the lack of money that is the root of all evil. Because if you look at it, you know, how do wars start? It's through lack of money normally, the drugs wars, domestic violence, it's all coming down through the lack of money. And we're seeing the poverty that is happening in the world at present. So the really important thing is that you've got to know your numbers and you've actually got to budget. You've actually got to spend less than what you earn. Now, if you have a credit card, 
for example. And these are a good thing at times. I'm not advocating that they're not, but you've got to be careful. So if you have a £3,000 income per month and you've got a £5,000 credit card limit, you're going to overspend every month. It's as simple as that. It's easy money. So if you've got a £3,000 uh, income, your credit card limit should be about at £700, which means that if you spend your £700, you still have enough money left over uh, to pay your other expenditure. So please, if you have a credit card and it's at the uh, uh, same as your income, please reduce it. Please reduce it now so you don't get into trouble. It's that important. And you've got to live within your means. All right, I'm being quite serious about this, that you've got to actually spend less than you earn. And I can say this uh, because I unfortunately have at times uh, spent far more than what I've earned and it's got me into trouble. So please uh, take it from my experience here. So these are just the hints and tips on finances. Money is so, so important. Know your numbers in your business. Understand your numbers. If you don't, go and f get some help and some guidance. Janelle is going to be running another financial literacy course at some stage or another financial literacy program. Please come along because the value you're going to get out of that is going to help you understand your numbers and know what you need to do in business to know those numbers. The actual three numbers that you really need to understand to have a successful business. There you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm actually going to stand out here a bit more because it kind of is nice. We'll talk soon.